I'm going to take the time to introduce and describe the Bantu key of knowledge, which is the ash tree. So the ash tree is A and E. So the way that this works is that the A and the E are now separate, but A and E used to be the same thing, but this was uh, separated. So this separation is the difference between uh, good and evil. This is how the knowledge of Adam and Eve separated them from God. And then everything was different. So what this actually symbolizes is the understanding or the issue of um, self-consciousness. We were conscious, all right? So we were conscious. And when we ate the fruit, we got self-conscious. So we separated the self from the conscious. And that's the separation. So this A and E is called the ash tree. And to unite the A and the E is to discern or to decipher. So this is a key of knowledge because you have to turn it. And then the E becomes uh, the A and the A becomes the E. And now you have turned the key of knowledge. So the reason why this is the Bantu key of knowledge is because you have to understand the uh, land of Punt from Bant, which is the P. So there is the B to the P. So when you use a key of knowledge, you turn the B into a P. And this key is the first uh, thing that's explored in the book known as Ham or Hustle and Motivate. So this is what enabled me to find, decipher, and understand the land of putts. All right? Because this was clearly the land of butt. All right? But this is only deciphered using the key of knowledge, which turns the A to the E and the E to the A. So this is the Bantu key of knowledge because... Put is the son of Ham. So now when we want to understand Ham, all right, we have to, um, all right, this is the word Ham, but this Ham, this A is also this Ham, all right, this ash tree, the A-E, which is where we get the word for blood, all right? And uh, this word is what is used as hemoglobin. This is ham. And this is the same word that's also used for Adam, which means blood. The ultimate key of knowledge is explored in the book um, of Hustle and Motivate. If you're interested in that, you can get the book for a dollar or more using PayPal and the link in this video. But in this video, I'm going to illustrate something that you're only going to see here. And it's not in the book. So using the key of knowledge to decipher the days of creation is a video I've once made. But I'm just going to illustrate how it's used. So in the days of creation, there's one, there's two, there's three, four, five, six, and seven is the Sabbath, the holy day. All right. However, <clears throat> when we use this uh, key of knowledge... Instead of us using the one like this, we're going to turn it and then we'll use the one like this. So when we look at this perspective, uh, this is the same one, but we're looking at it from this direction. All right. And then um, how we would count using this is simply to say one and then two and then three. Right. So instead of this, we're going to um, use the key of knowledge, the ash tree, which is um, turning, uh, which is to, to decipher. Um, the reason why this is uh, important is so that you um, merge yourself to your consciousness. Because when they understood that they were naked, 
they were self-conscious, but their consciousness was not uh, conscious of itself anymore. So that's why they were hiding. So now when we uh, decipher this um, uh, with the key of knowledge, we're going to write one as this and two as this. So two is going to give us three because on the first day, God let, said, let there be light and everything is created here. This is the light that's created. Now in two, this is the second day. So this is two like this and that's just the the way that it, it it merges when god separated the waters from the heaven and the earth so the waters in the heaven are merged with the waters of the earth so that's how we get two but now three uh, but now two gives us three strokes or three tallies and this summation is uh, one two three which is the trinity right and then this is three of threes we get nine and this is the complete number set so there are only nine numbers. And the nine is also the A or the E, which is the ash tree. Um, so, yeah. And then here we get three. Okay. Now, in three, we use four strokes. So now we get the number three. And now in the number four, we go back to three. So now we have one, two, and three. Or you could write four as one, two, or three. Uh, one, two, or three something like this this is four you always need three to make four but you need four to make three and this is how you use the key of knowledge to decipher uh the bunch of key of knowledge so this is just one two three one two three putt is the b is the uh p okay and when you do this you're using the key of knowledge and this key of knowledge is the a and the e which is how you understand ham all right and shem this s is that key turning all right this s this s is just that key turning that's just what it is everything revolves around the word all right so the word of god says as above or on earth as it is in heaven so this is how you get the two and then um when you are understanding the three you're now merging all of these uh, different uh, dimensions, all right? This is how you get the three. But now the three gives you four strokes and four counts. So this is how you get for four from the three. And now four and three is seven. Seven is the number of completion. And seven is also um, uh, a key of knowledge because the four is the seven. So this is completion. And this gives you back to 2. When you add 7 and 4, it's 11. And then this is 2. And then this um, is, that's just the pattern. All right. So that's just the pattern. So this is the number sequence. So it's only uh, nine numbers, but in the days of creation, there's six numbers. But now the six number is represented as six, which is also completed as nine, which is the ash tree the bantu key of knowledge so if you want to know more about this it's gonna show you the land of ham and such things like that so i hope uh, you get the book and you also um, get the understanding of this key of knowledge all right